nor with such balding, bare bones, radio broadcast. This is a marvelous time. Even though it's not getting remarked to, I will try to remark to it. Even though I'm very frustrated, this marvelous time is not moving on fast enough for me as far as I'm concerned. It is a marvelous time. And I'll tell you why. Some of the remarks made in this, I shut the Bible and I read the paper as the Bible. When I read this paper as the Bible and back up and understand what it means, it's saying some wonderful things. Even though it sounds like the whole place is coming apart, it's really having an awakening. And that's what happens when you have an awakening when you've been lying to yourself for so long. Jesus said, peace, peace, and utter destruction. Peace doesn't discuss anything. It doesn't talk about what's wrong. Peace does no conversation at all. It'll bring utter destruction. Because there's a lot going haywire that peace will not discuss. And it ends up screwing everything up. Peace. That's Bible. That's quoting Jesus. And I don't think they ever did. Nevertheless, when conversation comes with liars, there is an emotion to it. When you break down with the Lord as a liar, there is emotion. You do cry. You can't help it. Your conscience is involved. When your conscience is involved, you do have emotion. Yes, you do. Oh, come on. So what? Whether it be anger or sorrow or grief or glee, whatever, my God, that's not the end of the world. That's normal. That's not the sky falling. Because you're in regret and facing it for crying out loud, you don't burn your commerce to shreds. Dumb. Egypt is stupid. They're growing and they don't know how. The good thing you got the military in Egypt for crying out loud. Otherwise, all you're doing is more anarchy. That's what got you there. The military in Egypt, the only thing they're keeping it stable. And Mubarak was the only thing before that. And the dictator before him, the only thing before that. And you haven't been stable since you won't recognize that Pharaoh was better than God. As God said. Can God get the message through? Well, Pharaoh did. God hasn't got the message through any of you yet. This planet is in anarchy and confusion. Where the hell is my globe? It's in anarchy and confusion. Because of the people talking to God. Telling you what God told them. Bah! God tells each. God don't tell one to go tell the others. I'm not here telling you what God told me to tell you. No, I'm here telling you. You go talk to God. Move. Let me tell you what. The position of God and the position of Creator are not the same. I know I'm the friend of God. First of all, to talk to God, you have to be God's friend. Well, guess what? When you're God's friend, you're going to take on the concerns of God. When you have a friend, you take on your friend's concerns. That's what friends are. They share concerns. They share the feeling for each other. They have the grief for each other's concerns. Do you have the grief for God's concerns? Because when you have the grief for God's concerns, you do not hurt one human being here. No, you don't. So you all, friend of God first. Now who you got a grudge for? Friend of God? Ha! Ah! Is there any grudge left on this globe when everyone's the friend of God first? Well, if you ain't the friend of God, don't tell me you've been talking to God. You're a goddamn liar. Affirmative. Now, you got no grudge. Feels pretty good, don't it? Feels real bad, though, because you got a lot of work to do with God's hand, and you don't know your ass from the hole the ground about doing that, do you? Now, how you feel? Guilty? Are tardy. Just 
attorney. Like a farmer with a beautiful crop and you don't have the brain to get it out of the field in time because the weather's coming. And you know it. Look at that crop! One of me! Now, you gonna get it in the barn in time? Are ya? The neighbor won't help you get your crop in? Now you've got a priceless crop and they're jealous? And they want the weather to get your crop before you get it in? Like your neighbors now? Farmer? That's you. Nice place to live, huh?